Hey guys, this is Jeff from Grow Up. This is my second video on my YouTube channel. Um, so in this video, I will give you guys a tour of my current Hoya collection. Uh, right now it's summer of 2022, so a lot of them are growing. Uh, they're loving the heat and they're loving the uh, more sun exposure. So without further ado, here are my Hoyas. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, west facing window so it gets tons of light right now it's uh around two in the afternoon and it is getting a lot of sun exposure um so a lot of my hoyas are sitting here the first one is my hoya australis um what i love about this is uh it's such an easy grower um, even if you forgot to water water it, it's still fine. You do have to um, give it more water compared to uh, other more succulent type of Hoyas. But um, it's very forgiving. Like most of the Hoyas that I have in my collection. Next to it is my Hoya Pubicalix Splash. Um, this is my first ever Hoya um, that I bought three years ago. Um... What I love about this is the, the leaves that it's pumping out this summer, it is a lot bigger. Um, look at this leaf right here. This is probably my most favorite leaf because it is it is more mature and, and the splashiness is just more uniform. So yeah, very easy as well. It's more succulent. Uh, it has a, I would say a little thicker, a thicker um, leaf structure than the Australis. So um, you would have to let this dry out a bit more compared to the Australis. Right beside it, um, it's a newer acquisition um, for this year. Uh, spring, I think, is when I bought it from one of the uh, plant shops online here in Canada. It's my Hoya Caudada Sumatra. I don't know what form um, because I've seen a lot of um, varieties of this plant. Um, it did grow uh, new new vines. Uh, some of them are drying though. So I've still um, tried to figure out this plant. It's, it hasn't lost any leaf or leaves yet so I think I'm doing okay and it's grown a couple of leaves in my care so we'll see how it goes I'll post um, more updates uh, it's one of my favorite I guess leaf structure because it has like a crinkle um, border and it has some like hairs in its leaves and it's very splashy too yeah basking on this tons of sunlight is my Hoya Australis Lisa um, this was a good uh, purchase I only bought this for 16 Canadian and look at how it's growing after I've um, placed this on this window it just it's just growing multiple vines even in here I did have an Australis uh, before uh, I've been growing it for two years but it was just a small um, small uh, plant so I did pot this together with a bigger um, bigger plant to make it fuller uh, so yeah same care as the regular Australis but I'm just giving it more light because of the variegation. Uh, on the top shelf right here is my Hoya Wayetii variegated form. Um, also a newer acquisition this year. Uh, so yeah, nothing, nothing to tell you about it. I'm still trying to figure out its care. This one... Um, it's my Hoya Callistophylla. I bought this from um, one of um, one of the Facebook 
people or i guess facebook facebook marketplace um and it did grow it did flower for me in my care so look at that peduncle right there after it um, gave me a flower it gave me three or actually four one two three four yeah four leaves when i bought it it just had this three leaves at the bottom and i've potted this up potted this into a bigger terracotta pot and it has this um, new tendril so we'll see I've only had this for a year and a half and it's not it's, it's not the fastest grower but I just love the veination on this one like the dark green in contrast with the lighter green and the leaf shape it's like um, when you were little, when when the teacher would ask you to draw a leaf, this is the kind of leaf that you would draw. Okay, this one. I struggle a lot. It's um, a variegated uh, Hoya Hindu rope. Um, I bought this like three years ago, same size, and it's still the same size. <laughs> It did lose a couple of leaves and right now it's giving me a lot of white leaves so I might give it less light but I just want it to grow so I'm not gonna buy another variegated Hoya Hindu rope unless it's a, a big specimen this one is a very easy grower also uh, found this on Facebook marketplace Hoya Matilde splash um, has a subtle splash and it's growing multiple vines or multiple tendrils uh, on top I'm proud of this this is um, a Hoya Crimson Princess grew this from a three leaf cutting and I was able to grow it um, into this fuller plant and it is growing so yeah so I obviously um, propagated this multiple times in order to produce this kind of um, kind of a plant. I highly recommend um, doing that if you guys have the patience. Uh, buy a plant that is small and watch it grow. This one is also a plant that I bought smaller. Well, most Hoyas you you buy smaller. This is called Hoya verticillata or Hoya parasitica splash. Um, propagated this once um, because it it wasn't acclimatizing well for my in my household conditions. So I just just for insurance purposes I propagated this and it rooted for me really easy and it's giving me a new a new leaf or leaves. And I just love how splashy it is and the subtle veins in the middle. Yeah. This is what, what I love about Hoyas. I know some people would say that um, they all look the same, but they obviously don't know a lot of Hoyas if that's what they're saying. So this one is my Hoya Carrii, um it has some splash in the in in the leaf, so could be a splash variegation. I'm giving it tons of light, uh, and it hasn't given me more splashiness, I guess. But it's there, very subtle though. Had this for two years, uh, very slow growing. Um, it grew this uh, new tendril right here, up uh, up on this trellis so yeah it, this is very succulent so you water this when the leaf um is not firm anymore basically it's a bit on the softer side so you basically treat it like a succulent or yeah a succulent okay so we're moving into um, the window in our master bedroom and we'll start with um, this Hoya Laconosa 
think this is just a regular form. Uh, it's a newer acquisition, so I don't know exactly how to take care of it yet. Probably got it like two two months ago. Uh, so far, so good. Has a lot of growth points. This one is my, one of my favorites right now. I bought it the same time as the Laconosa. It's uh, Hoya Linearis. And it is already trailing. All of these vines, um, or tendrils, or whatever you call them, are from my care. So, really love how easygoing it is. So far, so good. And it gets tons of morning light on this. I think this is a an east southeast window and it get, gets tons of morning light this one just like my Hoya Crimson Princess I'm proud of this because I grew this from a, a leaf cutting I think a one leaf cutting it's my Hoya um, Carnosa Crimson Queen I know this is a common Hoya but I grew this from a leaf so quite proud of this because it's already growing up in a trellis Okay, so we've moved to my plant room. Um, so I do have some grow lights in, in this in this shelf. Um, so I I bought a, uh, a bundle of uh, Hoyas in one of the Facebook sellers here in Canada, and this was one of them. Uh, and it's called the Hoya macro macrophylla or macrophylla um, outer variegated form. Um, it did have some cosmetic damage when I bought this from the seller, but the newer leaves that it's producing right now, it's just stunning. And it comes out like this. So moving on, it's, this is my slowest growing, or it's not even growing, but it's not dying, so that's a plus. Hoya sigillatis. Um, it is rooted and it did lose a couple of leaves um, when it was trying to acclim acclimate into my uh, house condition. It, this was part of the uh, uh, bundle that I got from that seller. And I just love this. The coloration, I guess, on the leaf. If only it would give me new growth. I think it's starting to grow right there, but not fast enough my friend this one uh, this has been in my wish wish list um, for so long um, I bought one from a Facebook seller it wasn't rooted so I had to root it and then uh, that uh, Facebook seller that bundled um, Hoyas I also bought another one because I want a fuller plant and this is the result of the all of those cuttings it is growing and it is very rooted it is fully rooted i guess and i'm just waiting for it to sun stress this one is a hoya botanica it grew these two top leaves right here and it's starting to grow another tendril there it did have uh, some damage um, right there um, and right there but it's growing so I'm not concerned very subtle veins and uh, yeah this one is um, called Hoya Meliflua these two shiny leaves right here are uh, newer leaves uh, very succulent type of uh, Hoya, so water when um, the leaf is a bit on the softer side or right before it becomes soft. Um, part of the um, reason why I love Hoyas is that it's very forgiving. If you, um, if you rot uh, a Hoya, you just put it in a prop box and it should, it should root unless obviously it's known for um, being fuzzy but most Hoyas 
that I've bought anyways are very easy going. This one was part of the bundle um, with that Facebook seller. It is um, Hoya Crinkle 8. Uh, these three leaves right here are um, has grown in my care. So these were the two original leaves. And I've noticed it's gotten more elong elongated. So I'm not sure if that's just because of my care or if that's because it's more getting more mature but I would love a fuller plant of um, this guy but we'll have to settle with a tiny one uh, this one um, the seller called it um, Hoya Snow Queen Hoya Snow Queen uh, I don't know maybe because of the splashy uh, splashiness of the, the leaf it looks exactly the same as my parasitica or um, yeah it was formerly known as the parasitica but uh, yeah this is a new new leaf in my care it's growing another tendril right there so it is rooted this one is called the Hoya meliflua so like the oh no not meliflua locardesiana I think yeah locardesiana um, so like the meliflua, it's very succulent, um, the leaf is very succulent, so water it when it's completely dry or when the leaf um, is more soft, I guess, and uh, it's thriving, it's growing. Uh, this too on this shelf, uh, I won't pick it up, but this is my Hoya surigoensis. Uh, I've knocked I've knocked down a couple of leaves, newer new newer leaves on this one. So when I grew this new leaf right here, I was so proud. Cause I did I didn't break it, I guess. So yeah. This one was part of that bundle uh, with that Facebook seller. I think it was a hundred dollars for seven or eight plants, so it was a, it was a steal, so I, th I think if you divide it into seven or eight, um, you would account for like maybe seven or eight dollars each hoya. So, yeah. Um, oh yeah, this one is my hoya um, hoya laconosa silver. Um, it probably had like a pest issue because it was growing wonky leaves and it kept on losing some of the baby leaves. But um, I've sprayed it with a couple of my um, Pest pesticide spray and uh, so far it's it's okay. It hasn't given me any wonky leaves anymore. Uh, sitting by this window is my Hoya Potsii. Probably had like a fungal issue when I got it from my uh, from that Facebook seller. Also part of that bundle, and I'm growing it on this trellis. But it's growing. But it does have a little bit of a cosmetic damage. And last but not least, uh, it's one of my favorite Hoyas. It's my Hoya Bella Outer Variegated. Uh, I think it's called Anika, Anika Bois. Um, very easy growing. Um, I'm currently propag I've currently propagated it once. I'm still it's still rooting. But I, what I love about this is when you chop, when you chop a stem or a vein, it sprouts another vein in into another growth point. It's very easy, like this long vein right here is all in my care. All of those leaves, so very easy going. Um, you don't let this dry up though, um, so it's not the same care as. Uh, my other ho Hoyas that are succulent this one you don't dry out um, if you can catch um, the, the plant before it dries out um, then that's the perfect timing for uh, watering it so yeah 